Hey, it's Craig, and I wanted to talk today about how to create and use screenshots. And that's a great and helpful thing when, when, you, when you're browsing the web or you're doing different things and you want to say, I want to capture that and use it or share it. How do I do that? So let's talk about that today. Now, whether you're on a Windows PC or a Mac, there are some different keyboard shortcuts that you might want to take note of that are very helpful. If you're on a Windows PC, you can use that Windows key plus the Shift key and the S key, Windows key, Shift S, and that's going to allow you to select an area that you can capture to the clipboard. If you're on a Mac, it would be something similar to that. You would use, there's two, a couple of different variations you can use on a Mac. If it's Command Shift 4, you can select an area. That will actually put a file on your desktop. But if you want to capture it to the clipboard, in other words, you're going to immediately just go paste it somewhere, you would want to do Command Control Shift N4, and that will put it on your clipboard. And again, the clipboard is just a place, temporary holding place. You don't actually see the clipboard. It's just your computer is holding that image, and then it's waiting for you to go paste it somewhere. Let's take a look at how we might want to use that. Let's say we were shopping for a laptop computer, and we're out on Amazon, and we found something that we were looking at, and perhaps we wanted to share a screenshot with somebody so they would get their opinion on it. So I'm on a Windows PC. I'm going to use the Windows key Shift and S. And you'll see my screen get dark, and then I'm going to go ahead and drag a box like this. It's going to capture not only the image, let's say the, the laptop, but the, the description text and the price. And then I'm going to let go of the mouse, and it's going to capture that to the clipboard. You notice in Windows, on the lower right-hand corner of my screen, it pops up a notification. I can go ahead and click on that if I want to, but I don't have to because it's actually already stored that for me on the clipboard. So I could head over to my Gmail, start a new message to somebody, and say, considering this laptop. And then I just go ahead and go into the body and go ahead and paste it. So I can do the, in Windows, I can do the Control V shortcut, or I can use the right click and paste. And it's just going to go ahead and paste that image. And then I can go ahead and share that with somebody in order for them to take a look at it with me. So that's just using the a screenshot. It goes to the clipboard, and then I just go paste it somewhere. I, and oftentimes, I'll go paste it to, let's say, either an email message or a chat message. And that's one thing that you'd be able to do. Again, so it's just using the clipboard to get from something that you saw over to a message that you could share with somebody. Let's take a look at another case. In Windows, every time that you do a snapshot, it actually pops up in the lower right-hand corner. And you, if you actually click on that pop-up, you have some more tools for marking up what you've captured. So let's take a look at how we might use the cap screen capture and then mark it up. So here I've got a, a bill that um, for my internet and TV. And let's say I wanted to do a screen capture. So I'm going to do the Windows key, Shift and S. Again, my screen gets dark, and then I can draw a box around what I wanted to capture. And then notice in the lower right-hand corner, when I let go, it's going to pop up a notification. I can go ahead and click on that notification. Again, this is in Windows. Mac, it would just go ahead and save it as a file. But it's going to pop up. And in Windows, we've got something called the snipping tool. And that's basically just an app that lets you not only capture something, but go ahead and mark it up or crop it and do some different things with it. So I just wanted to show how you might do some simple markups after you've captured something. So you can see that the toolbar here, you've got a red pen. And you can go ahead and pull that down. And you can see I could pick any sort of different color or the thickness of the pen that I want to use. Let's say I wanted to, to circle something. I could go ahead and go ahead and just grab my pen and circle it. Or I could take the highlighter tool and just highlight something. But you notice when you're highlighting something, it can go a little off kilter. So what I also like to use is grab this ruler tool. And that way, if I wanted to highlight something like this, I can just take my highlighter and take it nice and straight across the ruler there. And that way I get a really nice and clean uh, line. Now everything that I'm doing here is being automatically saved to the clipboard. Every time I do a markup, it's going to just keep on saving it to the clipboard. And so I could just go over to an email and paste it. Or I could hit the Save button and go ahead and save it to a file. And it's going to pop up a where do you want to save it to. And I could go ahead and let's say put it on my desktop and say you know, Verizon Bill. And then I would go ahead and save that file to my desktop. Now there's another thing that can you can also find useful as far as doing snapshots and saving it to a file. And that's a, a lot of you are, are bloggers and you'll go ahead and want to a lot of times maybe perhaps create an image that, that you want to use in a blog. And I'll show you, here's a case where I actually took two images. I took an, a, these, this is uh, 
I have a 1925 house, and you can see in the left side, this is where the plaster had fallen off the ceiling. I said, okay, this is my opportunity to go ahead and put some nice sh new sheetrock into, into this room. So on the left, I put a photo. This actually, so by the way, this I'm in Google Slides right now. That's an entirely different topic, an entirely different video. But Google Slides is an awesome way for you to put different images together, add some text. But the point I wanted to show you was, if you were to do a composition like this, then I can go ahead and screen capture it. I'm going to go ahead and Windows Shift S and then draw my box around this like that. And, and then I'm going to watch for the pop-up in the lower mm. right corner. I'm going to grab that pop-up. And that's going to be my snipping tool. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the Save button. It's going to pop up. And then I could go ahead and save this as a file instead of just pasting it somewhere. If I'm going to put it in a blog post, I'm going to have to have it as a file. So I'm going to say composition uh, before, after, room, something like that. And in this case, because they're photographs, I'm going to switch it from a PNG to a JPEG file because photographs and JPEGs always go together nicely and go ahead and hit save. And that would go ahead and put that file, let's say, on my desktop. And then I could go ahead and use that in a blog post. So there you have it, some screenshot ideas. Whether you're on Windows or Mac, you have some different keyboard shortcuts to use. But either way, you're going to capture uh, either to the clipboard or to a file. In Windows, I just showed you some additional things. If you want to add some markups, like some red lines or some highlights, you can go ahead and do that. And in Windows 2, if you wanted to go ahead and save it as a file, you would just grab that pop-up window when it appears and go ahead and then once you're in the snipping tool screen, you can go ahead and hit the save button. And then that way you would actually have, let's say, a JPEG file that you could use in a blog post or just to save it for future reference. And there you go. Screenshots are very useful. I use them all the time. I use them every single day. And I just wanted to share some tips with you and hope you found that helpful as far as how you can also benefit from using screenshots. Thanks for watching.